Hello everyone, I'm Farrell Imran and today I'll be telling you whether coding is actually dead or not as the NVIDIA company which is a world leader in artificial intelligence computing it's an American multinational corporation and technology company so the CEO of NVIDIA said that coding is dead so whether that's true or not and what are my thoughts about it I'll share in this video as I am a programming myself so I'll tell you about it see here in NVIDIA what is it like most of the people would know what NVIDIA is they they make chips they make they have data centers they have high performance and most efficient runtime so they said that they will bring AI which will replace the programmers or coders and you don't have to learn coding anymore so even in this article in this blog it says and this happened in the world government summit in dubai 2024 so nvidia ceo stated that coding is no longer a viable career for the young generation so instead he said that they should focus more on the biology like biology as a subject education manufacturing and farming instead so they said the young generation should lean more so let me tell you what our thoughts about it for example as we also know about chat gpt and open ai who that has released chat gpt so as a programmer myself when i use chat gpt for my task or something like that because see chat gpt when you write the statement to it for example let me show you here for example for basic things it says that it gives you the code of it for example if i say i want the basic code of for example how to make a website or a basic framework of a website just the layout or something like that in react and it gives you and then what happens is that for complex tasks when i give them the task about complex it produces the erroneous code means the code that i use will not be used or it's it gives an error to it or it says it's outdated or something like that so when i put in my like visual studio code or atom it says the code uh, is error erroneous so from chat gpt it happens like how most of the people were like so surprised that chat gpt writes you the whole website and something like that no it does not write you the whole website or something like that for, for the basic things you can add even if you say to make the models or like to make for example chatbot in python you ask ChatGPT, it gives you just the basic of it it doesn't give you the advanced because they say i'm not trained to give the advanced and the second thing after working with chat gpt i realized that it has the understanding problem means if the thing that you ask it for example if i say i want to make the center or something like that it understands it's something else and gives something else results and then you have to like to make it understand you have to type it like two or three times so that it will understand like it has the understanding probably it won't understand you great you have to be very clear to understand for example if i say i need to make this thing or this text in center or something like that in web development so it makes the error like it gives you such another result which you won't use it because when you see the code you see that it's it, it will not work and even if you put it it won't work so if you're not a programmer and you don't know the code what is written to it of course it will give you the errors or something like that and you will get stuck and you'll be confused that what is happening it happens that and the second thing about the no code tools like to make the full website even in the website you see there are themes already themes and some premium themes are there which you have to pay for it like you design it and it even builds your website something like that so for the button you just drag and drop or something like that it doesn't it won't give you the things that you want for example if you want the button to be in the center or you want it to be this color or that color you can make small changes to it but the big changes you can't make to it so from the start you can use it for your reference or to you know for your easier you can take the theme and then you can use your code to make changes to it so 
means you have to be a programmer you are right, need to write code to make these changes like if chat gpt won't do it for you won't do it for you means it won't give you that thing that you want sometimes it produces the erroneous result sometimes it doesn't understand what you want to say so you have to be very clear so it's better if you go for like just understand what the problem is and make changes instead of going to chat gpt yeah if it understands then it's okay but if it does not understand that is a problem so this thing happens in chat gpt a lot it happens a lot and even for example if i say like write and code in html okay so here it's giving a simple code scenario even if you see the code or something like that you need to be a programmer of course you need to have some knowledge so that you can understand the code what is giving you otherwise it will like ruin your web page or website for example if it's completely different and you don't want it like that so you can make the changes that you want for example here i can understand the body it's giving the color and it's h1 text and the p is for paragraph you can understand it but if you're not a programmer and you're just complete beginner you know nothing about it then how can you make changes in the code and so this thing is that this thing is ha happens so about the statement that the future and that i think in maybe 10 years or five years the ai can do the basic task so means you don't have to you should be an intermediate programmer or you need to have some good knowledge so to surpass the ai and second thing i don't uh, it says that it might replace you but if you are a complete beginner or you know nothing about it but if you know you have some knowledge then you can use so instead of ai replacing you you can have some knowledge or gain the knowledge needed as a programmer or something like that you in order to use that ai for your productivity so increasing the productivity by using the ai for example as i said about chat gpt for example chat gpt you can use it if it understands so it can it can solve your errors or something like that that is in the code which you can understand it and the second thing is that because even if it gives you the code you can understand it or use it if you understand it that yeah this is the one that i can use then you can use it in your website or in project or something like that and the second thing about ai uh, which i think that ai won't have is the creativity it won't have your creativity for example programming is not just writing code programming is the whole thing that programming you know for example it's not about the task or something like that. for example even if give you the task like the job gives you the task then what you do you have to think understand it that what are the conditions for example even if it's a website for example it says if a customer says or a client says that you have to make a website for me for this field for example in the business field or for example it, for example restaurant in the restaurant field if you need to website you need to have some knowledge of course first you'll ask it the types or something like that the pictures the things of course you'll add then you'll plan according to it then you'll design for example if it says i need this color you need to think about it and you need to add your creativity of course in order so which the ai won't have of course ai you give the command to it i need this color theme i need this stuff something like that it will give you but it won't have your creativity it won't think the way that you do and even see it will have your creativity and even if for example you do tell the computer what to do first you need to hire some software developer or some programmer you need to hire it to manage it or give the task to it like to tell the computer what to do of course it will understand the code of the computer then it can add it to the website if some random person don't know what code is written so it won't be useful for it and of course the errors or something like that uh, the proper planning he has to do for example he gives the deadline the proper planning to the client what needs to be done in order to complete the project or something like that even for example 
if a client tells you to make a website for you so the website you need to first you even of course you have the range of programming languages you first choose for example like if i need to make my website faster so should i go for the react or should i go for html css so you'll of course go for react because then you'll see that react will make the website faster and or for example if the customer says that my website it should be faster and it should be the design should be very nice or good so of course you'll go with react of course you'll go with css you'll add the styles to it you'll use color map to it so in order to make the design or beautify it something like that even if you give the computer instructions you need to have the understanding or knowledge and the third thing that i want to say is that about this statement no it won't replace now it won't replace as the ai models are not that trained to replace you you have some basic things it can replace you but for the complex thing it won't replace you it still produces the error code and the thing if the as the new people they're thinking to code so what should they go for so i would say first to go for a four-year degree why i'm saying degree because some jobs do ask for a degree for example if you are going for data science like data science engineer or machine learning engineer even though you know the skills so sometimes they ask me you no know, you need to have bachelor's or master's in it so go for a four year degree but don't just stick to this degree don't just like think that i'll just take this degree and nothing else you no know, you need to learn some skills with it you need to do some online courses or watch some videos on youtube to understand it and the third thing is that you need to practice it also not just the theory because universities they just teach you the theory or the concepts like for example in python there is about the object oriented programming so the concepts in order to understand it or to practice it you need to watch online courses like do some online course with the certificate so that you can show that you have done a certificate but of course the uh, online course also gives you theory the main thing is that watch the youtube videos also and practice a lot practice a lot in order to be an expert to it you, know, you have to do these three things main they are the main things that you have to do as a programmer like the new programmers i'm telling you about and if you want to learn python you can also watch my video the three hours video which is on youtube you can see it will be on the top so you can watch that that's all for my site thank you so much and don't need to panic about it that still the one who are going for learning do learn because still humans are needed thank you so much